Uh, can you hear me now? Hello? Hello? Okay, alright. So, um, the problem is, is that, um, every time, um, I, ha I start these streams, I'm gonna have to, um, show my StreamYard profile picture instead of the screen shares, because for some strange reason, whenever I screen share, um... I think it's probably because audio isn't playing through here, so I'm going to make sure that um, when I screen share, it plays the audio because, you know what, no, it really doesn't matter. So what's, what's going to happen is from now on, whenever I start these streams, I'm going to have my little StreamYard profile image on screen first, and then that will trigger the audio. So anyways, welcome everyone to the StreamYard I'm sorry, I meant to say, welcome to the, to the Soundtrap and Bandlab um, live stream, where I am going to be basically playing through um, the, the Soundtrap website and the Bandlab website. And no, you guys do not expect me to play or like compose music or anything, it's because that I'm not a music composer. I, I'm only familiar with this website because you can create your own music, and... If you guys are not aware of my Soundtrap and Bandlap projects, um, back in 2016, that's when I discovered Soundtrap, and I did a little mini-series called the My Soundtrap Soundtrack Series, where I basically composed public domain songs, like songs that are in the pub public domain, such as songs that you will find, like, I don't know, on a, on a electronic keyboard that has, like, a lesson function, that's what I mean by public domain songs, like nursery rhymes and stuff like that. Those were the only types of songs that I could compose on a Soundtrap. And, yeah, so, if you guys have any questions about anything, you may ask them in the live chat. So, yeah. So, Masterface, if you still can hear me, please let me know. It's because I'm about to go ahead and get started with the stream. So, once again, I'm going to ask you one last time if you still can hear me please let me know uh i i can still hear you okay good all right so uh secondary mozart came in i don't know why he created a you know whatever so he says what is your opinion on odyssey well super mario odyssey was a pretty fun game uh secondary mozart it was a Really good game. I enjoyed the game. I haven't played it in a long time, but when I played it um, the first time, when I got it for my birthday in 2017, I would enjoyed it. Yeah, Super Mario Odyssey is indeed a fun game. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with the stream. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is that I am going to probably like showcase the instruments that are here on Soundtrap and Bandlab. But when it comes to Soundtrap, um, if you guys are not familiar with Soundtrap... Hold on a second. Is that um, not all the instruments here are for free? Um, you have to basically. Um, some of these instruments here are are under the premium feature, which is like seven dollars a month or something like that. And since I don't really use Soundtrap to like compose music, I unfortunately will not be showcasing these instruments here. It's because that I, I honestly don't care about it. And yeah, so I'm just gonna pick through some of the instruments here because we're not going to be here all day i'm only i'm only going to stream for like maybe like an hour and 30 minutes at least but yeah i want to i want to at least make the stream go a little bit longer so so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to select one of the pianos here and i am going to test them out and if you guys could hear the piano uh please do let me know in the live chat so i'm about to go ahead and get started I'm playing the piano here. Alright, I think that sounds good enough. Alright, I'm gonna head back to the live chat real quick. Alright, good. Okay, that's great. Yeah, so I guess um, Soundtrap now has um, 
electric pianos because when I first discovered Soundtrap back in 2016, I don't think there were like I don't think there were electric pianos, but now they have them. So that was um, 80s electric ballad. All right, so the next one we got here is called Blue Carol. So I want to see what this sounds like. Oh God. That sounds pretty cool, I guess. But yeah, that, that was um one of the pianos here. Now let's do a, a a regular grand piano if they have one. Let's see, studio grand upgrade to premium. No, but I don't want that. I just want. Oh, here it is. Here's the basic grand piano. Yeah, this sounds exactly as I remembered back when I first discovered this website. It sounds exactly the same. Sounds really nice. All right, so uh, I'm gonna try to another instrument that they have here. Now, let's see, let's go to organs. So we have 8888 organ fast. <laughs> that's, a, that's a weird name for a organ. So uh, let's see what this sounds like. Now it sounds like any other organ. Alright, so now we got um eight eighty-eight eighty-eight organ slow. Oh, hello, uh Davis 9754, welcome. Uh the fact that a majority of the instruments are locked unless you get premium is stupid and the reason why I'm happy with Anvil Studio. Yeah. Um Band Lab, um all the instruments on that website is for free while Soundtrap um some of them are locked under a paywall. So yeah so yeah, so basically Band Lab is way better than Soundtrap is because that all the instruments on there are for free, but I'm not but I think my problem with BandLab is that I don't think they actually update the website to add more instruments because I think Soundtrap actually adds new instruments to the site at times, but not with BandLab. So that's one of the problems that I have with BandLab is that it doesn't it doesn't really update the website where it adds new instruments. Like I can see more instruments be added. Like maybe like we get like orchestral instruments like maybe a timpani or something or a bassoon is there a bassoon no i don't think there is a bassoon on band lab but i know there are there there are um different instruments that are on band lab that isn't on a uh, soundtrap but yeah here is the philly corda one for the organ category oh this sounds pretty cool it sounds like sci-fi music or something got um philly corda 2 so it kind of sounds like a casio tone or something yeah that sounds pretty cool i guess all right i'm just ch gonna be checking back at the live chat every once in a while to see if anybody is showing up Oh, we got spiritual. Okay, it sounds like I guess this is probably, um, like a gospel type of organ. Oh God. That sounds pretty cool. I guess. All right, let's move on to a different category. Oh, so we got, um, scent. So we have bell piano, bellish. Let's do bell piano. This might sound pretty cool. 
That does not sound like a bell. <laughs> like, don't call an instrument that doesn't sound... I mean, I don't know why they call this a bell piano. Like, bro, where's the bells at? That does not sound like a bell at all. Well, to be fair, it is a synth instrument, so... Um, they also give you the, the, the effect, the delay, vibrato, all that. You got bellish. And turn down the reverb if you want if you want to. Okay, that sounds pretty nice. Oh, we got orchestral. Yeah, unfortunately, the only brass instrument that is that is for free is the tuba, which is absolutely ridiculous. Like, why are the other ones um, tied to a paywall? Like, I, I don't understand this website. Same goes with freaking the woodwinds. Like, the, like the clarinet and the African pan flute are, are the only woodwind instruments that you can use for free. All the other ones are locked under a paywall. Yeah, Soundtrap, I don't know what your deal is. Like, I think you should just cut off the whole premium thing like why can't all this be for free like seriously why do you have to go under a paywall like i don't get this website like it's ridiculous like seriously what is up with all these websites making you pay for like a like a like a like a, a service just for you to use the instruments like it's absolutely ridiculous like you know let's i'm gonna go ahead and stop ranting about it and i'm gonna just pick one of the brass instruments here so we got uh the tuba so you can make the tuba sound really deep. Alright, so that's the tuba. Alright, let's see. Um, such a massive L. <laughs> what can you do with only one brass instrument? That is the tuba. Oh, I don't know if you're asking me a question, Davis, or you're just commenting about the fact there's only one instrument that are available for the brass. Oh, I think you're just probably just commenting on it. Oh, okay. All right, what else we got here? Oh, yeah, we got um the cello pizzicato, which is for free. Yes, yeah, pizzicato. To. I, I don't think you can play pizzicato polka on this website because they don't give you enough keys. Yeah, I know I failed to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but it really doesn't matter. All right, so we got a um, string ensemble. Yeah, string ensemble chamber. Like I do, I, I do have one thing I, I like about soundtrack is that the instruments do sound really good. Like I do like the way how these instruments sound. All right, so let's let's try the African pan flute. You know, let me change the octave. Sounds nice, I guess. Alright, now we got clarinet for all of you Squidward fans out there. Oh yeah, fun story. I'm back in. I think when I think when I first started Soundtrap, um, I was under like a free trial, um, and then um, once my fr 
So I was under a free trial and I was able to use all of the instruments that were under a paywall for free. But once that free trial went up, um, I was unfortunately wasn't able to use those instruments again. So at some point in time, I were I was able to use all of the instruments on Soundtrap. But then that's when the, the, the free trial had ended and I was left using the free instruments that were already given to you for free at the start. Alright, I'm gonna go back and check again. <laughs> Squidward destroys Bikini Bottom while playing the clarinet. Yeah, I've always wondered, um, like, like you know in Spongebob, like, every time um, Squidward plays the clarinet, it actually sounds like a clarinet. I, I'm, I'm not sure if they actually had a clarinet player provide the voice, provide the sounds of the clarinet. I mean, I'm not sure. It's because I don't know what goes behind the scenes with Spongebob. Maybe I should ask Vincent Waller that on Twitter, saying, "Hey, um, in SpongeBob SquarePants, um, the clarinet sounds. Did you guys actually use the clarinet, or was those like sound effects or something? Cause I don't know, but yeah. All right, so let's go to the drums and machines. So yeah, the only um free instruments under the kits category is clean black, clean red. Great names, bro." Explorer, Fairline, Jazz Kit, let's see, Long Toms, 60s, Sticky Jazz, Sunset City, yeah, those are the kits, so let's try um, the Clean Black, wait, hold on a second, alright, here we go, so yeah, one of my biggest pet peeves with Band Lab, well, no, no, oh, I'm sorry, not Band Lab, Soundtrap is that, um, I want to say it was like around 2016, no, 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 not 2016, because that's when I started Band Lab. It was 2018. Yeah, when I started, um, around 2018. Wait, hold up. I don't know what the heck is going on here. All right, there we go. Yeah, around 2018, um, whenever you, like, record the, 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 the drum sounds, and you, when you play it back, it sounds like it's, it sounds like it's skipping beats and whatnot. I don't know if that's the website's fault on that, is because that, when I first used Soundtrap all these years ago, um, I didn't have any problems with the with the drum instruments because whenever I recorded music using the drum instruments, they didn't sound laggy or it was skipping beats or anything. But I mean, I can I can demonstrate that to you guys. I mean, I made a whole video about about the Band Lab and the Soundtrap drum situation, but it was mostly for Soundtrap. So so I'm about to record something really quick here, and then I'm just gonna play a beat real quick. Wait, hold up. Hold on a second. I gotta fix something real quick. I'm gonna delete this. How do you... Alright, there we go. Alright, let me try recording it again. Nope. Go back. So yeah, I'm gonna record this drum sound. And then you guys will probably notice the glitching when I play it back. So I'm recording it right now. All right, I'm going to stop recording, and I'm going to play back the sound, and I'm going to see if it's playing perfectly or it's or it's it glitching out. So I'm going to go ahead and play back. Oh, then... That didn't sound glitchy at all. I don't know if they actually fixed the glitching problem that they had back I, I think they, I think they fixed it because um I did a video back in 2019 when I um showcased the drums here on Soundtrap and when I played it back um it sounded really glitchy but here it actually sounds perfectly normal so I'm going to do another demonstration with this and yeah, I'm going to do another demonstration to make sure if it sounds good. So I'm going to do one more demonstration here. All right, that sounds good enough. So I'm going to go ahead and play it back. Wow, they actually fixed it. Well... That's a huge soundtrack W that um, they did. They actually fixed the drums. Now they no longer sound glitchy. But yeah, if you guys go to my YouTube channel, um, just 
go to the search tab and type in Soundtrap and Bandlab drums in the search of my YouTube channel. If you're using the the, the the if you're using like a browser on Chrome or if you have like a tablet or something, because um, YouTube on tablets they absolutely do have the search magnifying glass thing, but they don't have it on YouTube mobile on iPhones, but they do have it on tablets. Just go to my channel, type in the Soundtrap Bandlab drum video, and then it will pop up. And if you watch that video, you'll notice that the drums back then sounded really glitchy. But they actually fixed it because when I played it back, um, it actually sounded perfectly normal. So I'm actually am glad that they actually fixed it. So I might go back to composing little music tracks for Soundtrap again in the future. But I won't promise you guys on that it's because that I've retired from doing this. And besides, I'm not really a music composer anyways, and when I do compose my my music, yeah, when I did compose for the soundtrack, soundtrack series all those years ago, there were times where I did miss a few notes, so I had to stop recording and, and redo the notes again, because I may have forgotten what notes to hit. But yeah, making those videos were not easy, it's because there were times where I messed up and I had to go back and fix it again, but it is what it is. But yeah. Okay, so let's try out um, another drum instrument that we have here. That is the Clean Red. It's such a weird name, but okay. So, I'm going to scroll this up here. So let's hear what the Clean Red sounds like. Yeah, the clean red sounds pretty cool, I guess. But yeah. Alright, so I'm going to head back to um the um, thing here. It's good to know that they fixed it. Oxy only has two free drum kits, which is worse. Clean black, clean... Wait, hold up. Clean black. What about clean white or the other colors? <laughs> well, they do have clean white. Because if you go here... um, So yeah, right here, there's there's... Wait, hold on, let me go back. There's clean, there's clean black, clean red, and there's clean white. Yeah, so there is a clean white, um, Davis. Th yeah, th it, ans it answered your question, so there is a clean white. But you have to upgrade the premium um, to use it, so that's unfortunate. All right, so let's try the Explorer kit. I want to see what this sounds like. Oh, God. <laughs> It doesn't even sound like a, a, a bass drum. It sounds like someone's getting shot. It sounds like a, like a taser gun. <laughs> like, bro, what were they thinking when they were making that sound? <laughs> All right, <laughs> that was that's pretty funny. <laughs> Loud and powerful ah uh, kick. <laughs> yeah, for real. I hope you, I hope you, I hope you, I hope you guys heard that sound earlier because that sounded like a freaking gunshot or a taser or something. Yeah, it sounds like a it sounds like a machine gun. It doesn't even sound like a bass drum. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right. All right, what else we got here? A bass and 808s. So we have So the 808 drums, um, wait, not drums, the basses, all of them are for free. Oh, this does not sound good. Uh, nah, I don't like that. Nah, we're not going to do those 808 numbers. Wait. Yeah, yeah, they, they don't sound good. Let's go to bass acoustic. Yeah, the upright bass... Unfortunately, is is locked under the paywall. So we have Billy Rocka, which is a which is not under a paywall because it's a free instrument. I don't know, you guys. I might actually might some what bring back this series if I can come if I, if I can come up with new songs to compose. But I won't promise you guys on that. Because I really did like making music on Soundtrap back in those days, but I kind of stopped because I wasn't, I was actually running out of ideas for songs, like other public domain songs that I haven't done yet. 
So yeah, that's pretty cool, Billy Rocca. All right, so we have a uh, clean jazz. Yeah, some of, yeah yeah a good majority of these bass instruments are 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 free. They're not under a paywall for a premium. <laughs> That sounds pretty cool. The, sna the, the snare sounds even more like a gun. Yeah, it does. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, another question I want to ask is the audio glitching. Um, please let me know because um, there has been times where I'm doing these streams and there's like times where the audio glitches out. So, so... Do, do you guys hear, like, any glitchiness in the audio, or does my audio sound fine? Because my microphone isn't the best. It's because I'm not really using a microphone. I'm using my computer speakers as the microphone, so it's not like I have a microphone plugged in into my computer or anything, so I still hear the audio. Okay, thanks, Davis. Thank you. All right, okay, cool. Because whenever I watch back these streams, I oftentimes hear, like, audio glitching. It's because that my mic... Once again, I'm not. I don't actually have a microphone. I'm actually using my computer speakers. So whenever I talk, um, it picks up my voice. But yeah, and besides, I'm not really a, a professional streamer, so that's the reason why I don't use microphones or anything like that. All right, so let's do clean jazz. What's so clean about it? Was dirty jazz. That sounds pretty cool. All right, I think we'll do a few more instruments with Band Lab. No, Soundtrap. I'm, I'm sorry if I keep screwing up the names of these websites. It's not because I don't know them. I do I do know their names, but I just got the names mixed up. All right, so let's do Acid Bass. Like, bro, what kind of name is that? Acid Bass. That was the acid base. You can actually turn up the attack rate. And if you turn up the attack rate, it actually changes the sound of the instrument. And let's turn the attack rate all the way down to zero to see what that sounds like. Yeah, it just goes back to its normal sound. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, I think that's about wraps up with Soundtrap, I think. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and move on to Band Lab now. Yeah, I know I said the stream is going to be like an hour or so, but I don't really need to do one hour streams because I don't know, like it's my stream. I don't it's not like I'm a it's not like I'm a, a I'm a gameplay channel where I do like a, a full gameplay. I, my streams, yeah, I know you guys may notice that my streams aren't all that long. It's mostly like an hour or maybe under an hour. That's only because I don't like streaming for a long time. And there's really not much for me to talk about. So, so yeah, we're now moving on to Band Lab, which all of the instruments here are for free. Yeah, none of these instruments are under a paywall. All of them are for free. So, we're going to go ahead and just try all, all these instruments here. So, we got the 808, the same as freaking Soundtrap. So, we got the 808 bass. Let's see what this sounds like. You can barely hear it. Like, let me turn up the, the volume up a bit. I mean, yeah, you can hear it, but it's not all that loud. Yeah, these 808 instruments suck. Boom. Like, bro, what the frick is that sound? Like, <laughs> and we got 808 kick. Like, bro, I'm gonna freaking kick you in your face if you don't shut your mouth. Yeah, it's the same thing as the bass. Like, yeah. Yeah, I don't like these 808 instruments. These these instruments are, are terrible. Like we got 808 saturated bass. Well, let me guess, it's gonna sound like the others, huh? Oh, this sounds different. Yeah, this stream might 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 most likely be like an hour. Like maybe I'll stop streaming maybe around 4:20. I think yeah, 4:20. I'll probably end off the stream. Alright, I'm gonna head. Let's see. 
Yo, attack. Death base. This sounds like a cool base name. 808 bases are usually very deep and quiet. It's like... Wait. Is there like a high pace filter? Oh, high pass filter. I mean, if I want to be totally honest, I, I'm not... I don't know. It's because I don't use this website anymore. And I don't really play around with the features. So, yeah, I'm done with all the 808 bases. I'm going to go ahead and move on to... Um, the drum kits. So we got Afro Cuban percussion. So we're gonna try try, try this out. And yeah, these are like African based instruments like drums. Sound like a bongo. Yeah, it sounds pretty cool. That was that. So yeah, that was the Afro-Cuban percussion. These are like African-based instruments, like drums and um, cymbals. Like they kind of sound like a maraca in a way. I don't know. Kind of sounds like a maraca. Yeah, you get the idea. All right. So next is the blues. Excuse me, I just belch. I did have some Gatorade earlier today before I streamed. Yeah, I've been belching a lot of the, in the in like if you guys if you guys noticed in my Mario and something like the Olympic Winter Games videos, I have been like burping and belching a lot in those videos. I do I do dearly apologize for that. I know it's rude, but I don't actually open my mouth so it, so it will seem like I'm burping. So I usually have my mouth closed anyways when I belch. Because I don't want to be rude. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll probably stop talking about that now. So yeah, that's the blues um, drum category. Let's try out another one. Oh yeah, if you guys want to see um, all of the instruments here on BandLab, I did a whole video series back in 2020 called the BandLab Instrument Showcase, where I showcased all of the instruments that were on this website. So if you guys want to hear all those instruments, uh, feel free to check out that playlist. Bro, one of these... Drum kits are called drive, like, kind of name is that, like, drive, like, you're not a vehicle. <laughs> so we got six, T, wait, you know, I'll just click on it. Yeah, because my T my T key it has been acting really weird, and you have to push you have to put so much force on it just to get the the key to work. Yeah, you can click on them if you want it to. What if there is a drive? You're still. Oh. I'm sorry about that. If you guys didn't see that, but. You know, I'll go ahead and fix it. Yeah, thanks for telling me that, Masterface. Yeah, I did forget the screen share to um, Band Lab. So I have a question: Were you guys still were you guys were still able to hear it, even though I wasn't screen sharing it? Were you guys still were able to hear the Band Lab audio, even though I wasn't screen sharing the tab? I want to, I want that. Okay, okay, thank you. Thanks for thanks Davis. Thanks for telling me that. Because I was afraid that oh no, because I didn't screen I did hear them. Okay, thank you. Because I was afraid that um oh no, I forgot the screen share. Maybe it didn't pick up the audio, but it picked up the audio, so that's great. All right, so now that we've gotten that taken care of, we're going to continue with the band lab sounds. So this is Compton of the drum kit category. I'm just click on these instead of just hitting the keys. All right, I think that's enough of the drums. Let's move on to a different category. No, 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 I don't want you. All right, let's go back to instrument. 
All right, let's head over to the drum pads. 606. Such a weird name. Like, bro, imagine naming your drum kit off of a number. Like, bro, what if there's a 69 drum kit or a 420 drum kit? Or maybe a 666 drum kit? Like, that'll be all messed up. <laughs> All right, that was 606. 8-bit chiptune. Now, this sounds like a gun or... or... <laughs> okay. All right, now we got 808. I really do like that. Lovely. Abstract hip hop. Oh, this sounds like someone snapping their fingers instead of clapping. That's nice. Okay, nice. Oh, Atlanta hip hop. That's funny because um I, I am I am a Georgian, but I'm not from Atlanta. I'm actually from a different part of Georgia, but not Atlanta, but that's cool that they have Atlanta hip hop. Yeah, I get that's clapping, but it's kinda of like a gunshot. In a way. Alright. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the electric bases. So yeah, after I showcase some of these drums, I might like maybe briefly showcase on um, the loops that they have here. They do have loops that you can add for your music. Before I do that, I'm gonna go and check the live chat real quick. All right, let's see, it probably came from the Roland T TR series. All right, let's see, TR-606, TR-707, TR-808. Oh, okay, that's, that's pretty weird. <laughs> All right, so we have Acid Bass. If I could click on it. Oh, wait, I'm still on Soundtrap, my bad. I meant to go over here. This is the 62P bass on a band lab. All right, there we go. All right, so let's do the funky slap. And this is a slap bass. That was the funky slap. Pumped, pumped up bass. Such a weird name for an instrument. Like, I don't know if I'm pumped up about this. Like, for real. Okay. All right, what else we got here? We got, oh, we got the regular slap bass. Which sounds really nice. Oh yeah, wait, hold on. Let me see if I can find that one. That that one. Wait, hold on. There, there was one that has like a cat sound. It was like it was like the cat kit. So I'm gonna see if I can find that because I because you guys remembered um from the the the, the band lab series uh one of the instruments i used was like a it was like it, it was it had like cat sounds and i'm trying to see if i can find it again if they still have it let's see boom bop classic 
No, where's the cat sounds? Hold on. They, should, they still should have it, because they don't... They can't just remove the instruments. Cherry boom. No. Because one of these kits have, has, a, has the cat sounds on them. Steve Jackson. Frick. If I can't find it, then that's super unfortunate. Fat 90s. Glitch. Industrial. Percussion plonk. Pillow. Sound effects. <laughs> nope. That's not it. Techno throwback. And where the heck is the... How do they get... How do they not have it? They... Like, it's not like they actually changed the website, did they, or something? I think they probably must have gotten rid of it. Because I don't see it. I don't see it here. You've got to be kidding. Well, I can't find it anymore, so I guess they probably got rid of it or something. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Alright, let's see. Um, let's go to the guitars. The guitar category. Let's go to the 12-string guitar. Wait. Alright, there we go. They fixed it. Alright, that was the 12-string guitar. Alright, next is the acoustic guitar. You can also change the octave. Emmett from the Lego movie. Oh, okay. Who is Steven Jackson? I don't know. Probably some musician or something. I guess I'm pretty, I'm pretty I'm sure he's a musician. Prince. New. How do they not have the stupid cat sounds? Like, that? Like when I discovered this website, they had, like, those cat sounds or something. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just probably just select one of them and maybe... Wait, hold on. Nope, that's not the cat sounds. Classic house. Nope, that's not it. Let's see. Prince. It's a trap. No. And that's unfortunate. Pads. Yeah, let's go to, um, let's go back to the guitar category again, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to head back to guitars. All right, let's go to banjo. Let's go to clean guitar hard. It's going to take a while for it to load. Ring the banjo. Super saw. <laughs> okay. That's nice. Let's do one more. Daylight guitar. Yeah, let's end off the guitar category with daylight guitar. Alright, so that was the guitar category. So next is the keyboard categories. 
we have accordion. It's gonna load. Yeah, I'm gonna be totally honest. Um, the the band lab accordion isn't that bad. But I kind of like the Soundtrap accordion better because it actually sounds like an accordion. Like, let me go back to Soundtrap really quick. Um, let me screen share it real quick. All right, let's see. Present, screen share. All right, so I'm going to showcase um, the Soundtrap accordion really quick. So it's in the organs category. Gonna, yeah, organs. Yeah, it's in the keys category, organs, and this is what the, no others, this is what the accordion sounds like. Yeah, that sounds like an accordion, unlike whatever the heck this is. Like, bro, that's not, does not sound like an accordion, it's not like a, a, a hunk of trash. Spongebob, <laughs> Spongebob music, yeah, that's definitely Spongebob music, all right. Yeah, because the freaking Krusty Krab music is always that accordion music. All right, let me uh, stop screen sharing and uh, screen share Band Lab again. Sounds like a synth, a synth string. Yeah, that's exactly what it sounds like. All right, so next is Bright Piano. <laughs> I just gotta load. Load? Alright, there we go. Yeah, you can also change um, the um, the majors here or the, the, the key. Yeah, I know I'm probably using my wrong musical terminology, like F. D. Yeah, those are those are the those are the different types of keys on your on a piano, basically. And you can change the octave. That's one of the cool things about Soundtrap and Band Labs. They can change the octave. So the more octaves you change it, the higher the sounds are. So if you change it to like a really low octave, like one for example, you get really low sounds. Alright, so that's... Alright, that's um, the, the bright piano. Alright, so let's do um, the electric piano. I want to see what the electric piano sounds like. Wait, it's got to load. This sounds awful. It's not sound like an electric piano. Alright, let's see. C f C sharp, D B, A B, G sharp, or flat or whatever. Look, I, I I'm not I'm not a music geek. Okay, so don't get at me for, for, for screwing up the name of the, the, the notes. All right, let's go to um, the upright piano. I really do like the upright piano. The upright piano sounds really cool. Oh, wait, it's got to load. So that's um, the keyboards category. So let's go over to the lead category. So we have arcade lead. different instruments here. Bell lap sounds. Oh, never mind. I thought that was something. That sounds pretty cool. 
All right, let's see. Fat, <laughs> fat and dirty, <laughs> bro. Who who named you? All right, I think that that'll wrap up with the lead category. Again, I have an entire playlist showcasing all of the instruments that are on this website. So we have Clean Fifth Sign Organ. Uh, I don't know how I don't know how I feel about this one. Fat and dirty is a thick saw pluck. Chip chip cap from the chip hat from the Spickable Me too. Like I don't know, I haven't seen that movie, so I wouldn't know who that character is. All right, let's go to the let's go to the pads category. So we have, so the first one we have here is called the Atlantis pad. So we have a pad all the way from Atlantis. <laughs> Dreamy Bells. You can barely hear it. Let me let me change the octave. Yeah, that doesn't sound all that good. I don't like that one. Helicopter Orchestra. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure if they added new instruments here or not. I don't know if these are the same as the ones that are that I found. They have timpanies now. I guess they actually updated this website because I never, I didn't know. Well. I guess they added new instruments to this website because this was not here before. I've not heard this before, but yeah, they're actually adding new instruments to Band Lab. That's that's cool. <laughs> Sorry, I just have to. Oh, that's actually cool. They actually added new instruments because I've not seen the timpanis here before when I. So I guess they actually do update Welcome Pad. That's a bit weird. Okay. All right, let's see here. Uh, vibraphone. Very nice, very nice. Helicopter orchestra has a vibrato effect. Indeed it does. Let's see what else we got. Uh, we got the xylophone, which sounds nothing like a xylophone, by the way. I mean, it kind of sounds like a xylophone, but it sounds off. All right, that's um, the xylophone. All right, what else we got here? We got the voices. Oh lord, we got the um the wait. Let's go to voices. Let's go to the um the ah wait choir male ah. Let's go to choir male ah and see what this sounds like. Uh, <laughs> what the heck was that? Uh, Oh my god, that's... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, shut up. No one wants to hear that. 
Oh, right, they got the solo female R. Probably has to be my best stream yet. This is just too funny. Like, what were they thinking? <laughs> Why are you playing? <laughs> Why are you playing female choir at low pitches? Cause it's funny, Davis. That's why. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, like, bro. <laughs> Yeah, this is already better than Soundtrap. Yeah, Soundtrap, you, 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 yeah, take your stupid freaking um, um, paywalls and just chuck them out the window because this is where it's at. This is where it's at. All right, so we have um, Bassoon in the wins category. Like, maybe I should do um, Joy to the World again on Band Lab, but just using the choir voices, that'll, that'll be funny, I guess. Yeah, I'm so glad that this website is not under a paywall, because imagine all of this stuff being under a paywall. That that would suck. Like, like that would suck, definitely. What the heck? What are these names? You got Trombone Hard... Trombone Soft, Trumpet Concert Hall. Yeah, they, they yeah they definitely updated this website because I've I've not seen these instruments before in the voice categories. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, yeah, let's go to the Trombone Concert Hall and see what this sounds like. <laughs> The choir instrument sounds better than Sweet Ah from Oxy. I need to try out Band Lab someday. Not that Sweet Ah is crappy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Master. Yeah, Mr. Face. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. Sorry if I keep calling you Master Face. I mean, yeah, that's what I know you as, but I'll, I'll try to keep calling you Mr. Face from now on. But yeah, you should try out Band Lab. It's a pretty fun website. Now knowing that they actually added some new instruments that I've never seen here, like. Easily, the the best instruments are definitely the solo female ah uh, and the the male ah. Uh, th those those are hilarious because it's just no, especially the females ones. Like like the female one is is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we got here. A uh, full brass. I want to see what this sounds like. Wait, is it, does it work? Okay, there we go. Oh, you guys, I think I'm going to wrap up the stream because, I don't know, I, I've had way too much fun and I don't know if I can go any longer, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up, really. But yeah, I'd like to thank you guys for coming to the stream. Yeah, I know I said I was going to show off the, the loops and whatnot, but all that laughing had gotten me tired, so I'm just going to go ahead and wrap up the stream now. But uh, thank you guys for coming. Um, this was a really fun stream. This is probably one of my better streams that I've done, and thanks to those ridiculously funny choir voices. But yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. So yeah, thank you guys for coming. Davis, Mr. Face, thank you for entertaining me today. And yeah, we'll talk again later, so I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everyone.